I am Anil Kumar and now let us further explore few more examples on permutation and combination. The question here is how many numbers greater than 1 million can be formed by using digits 1, 0, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. Now when we say 1 million it means what? Uh, million will be 1000, 1000, right? So 1000, 1000. That is to say, we have seven digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if a number has to be greater than seven digits, we have to consider a seven digit number. We are given one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, seven. Seven digits. And therefore, all the digits should be used. So we have seven digits to be used. Now, if the number starts with zero, then it would be a six digit number lesser than one million. So the strategy here is to find all arrangements with seven digits. So what the strategy is, find all arrangements or permutations with seven digits, right? And then from those arrangements, you take away the ones starting with zero, right? So starting with zero. So if you start with zero, then it'll be a six digit number which will be less than 1 million. So you have to take away that. So this is the strategy for us. So it's a two-step question in which we can solve it. There's another way also which we can discuss in this video also. Okay, so first one, find all arrangements with all seven digits taken, right? So in that case, what we can do is, we know we are taking seven digits. So this will be seven factorial divided by Twos are repeating two times, so two factorial, right? Three times threes are repeating, so three factorial, right? So there's a repetition involved. So that becomes the arrangements with all seven digits, right? So that is equal to, we can use the calculator and find the answer. So we have seven factorial divided by, within brackets, two factorial, times 3 factorial which is 420 so we have 420 combinations okay now the second part is how many of them are starting with zero that is to say we fix zero right so we have already taken zero and the others could be the other six digits one two three four five six now these six digit numbers are definitely smaller than 1 million right so they should be taken away so these will be 6 factorial and 2 is 2 times and 3 is 3 times right so 3 factorial so that is the number which we have to take away so that gives us 6 factorial divided by within 2 factorial or we could write 2 times 3 factorial and that is equals to 60. So if we take away 60 from 420 then we get our answer. So our answer is 420 take away 60 right and that is 360. So there are 360 ways in which it could be done right. So that's one way of doing it. Here is an alternate method. Let me write down alternate method. Now alternate method is that we are we know we have to start with one, two, or three, and then we can add all those combinations, correct? So so that is how we can do it. So starting with one, if I fix one here, so if I start with one then how many combinations are there? So we are working with six of these digits 
divided by uh, there are two two so two factorial times three factorial right so that we already calculated this this is 60 now if we start with two then what so if we start with two that means we fix one of these twos right so we are left with only one two here so in that case we work with other six numbers so it is six factorial divided by so if i take away one of these twos then only we have threes which are repeating three times so three factorial right so so that is the number which will be twice this number so let me write 120. similarly if we start with the number three in that case will be left with two twos and two threes so it is six factorial over two factorial by two factorial correct so that is we can calculate correct so it is okay six factorial divided by let's say divide by two factorial two factorial is four so we'll just divide by four it gives 180 180 and therefore, our answer will be 60 plus 120 plus 180. We can add this up. 180 plus 120 plus 60 equals to 360. So that's the alternate method for the same. So you could do either of these methods. Well, that is for your understanding. There could be situations where these different cases can help you solve similar questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn from my videos. Thank you and all the best.